So you guys have been on my back to create a Discord for the longest time, and you know what? I finally fucking done it. I created a Discord, and it is basically up and running. Uh, so if you want to join, there is a link in the description below. If you don't know what Discord is, I don't know what year you're living in, but it's kind of similar to Skype in an essence, uh, except Discord is kind of like better. So for those of you who don't have Discord, it's completely free. You can download it on your computer, or you can actually use it in your browser as well, but I recommend downloading it. If you do download it, come back to this video, and there'll be a link in the description, and when you click on that link it should take you directly to my server this is the best place to get in contact with me and hopefully uh, other youtubers and content creators i'm going to try to make this more open orientated for absolutely everyone uh, other youtubers and whatnot we'll see how it goes but if you do want to get in contact with me this is the best place to do it i'm usually on discord for the majority of the time now i recently went through some fucking weird shit with discord like it, it fucked up completely and i lost all my servers and everything so it, it pissed me off a little bit but you know what i ain't trying to sell the thing we back and i've created a discord so once again link in in the description below feel free to join and let's have a conversation or something i don't know <laughs> so i've seen this quite a bit in the comment section on my past couple of videos surrounding hide if you guys didn't know hide has fully returned to the series and we're all very excited about it there is one question though which has got a lot of people kind of confused is hide an actual girl now this is a mystery that will most likely be answered sooner or later right uh, but from my perspective and what we've seen from his persona scarecrow i highly doubt that he day is a ghoul by any means. I guess you could say I have one piece of evidence that kind of backs this up and if you've seen the first video that went up just before because this is most likely going to be a double upload I briefly explained it. So if you guys don't know Scarecrow which is Hide's persona uh, basically is I guess rated as a C ghoul or C plus or something right that's a very low rating for a ghoul. Now that in itself is entire speculation because we have not seen what Scarecrow is capable of you know we haven't seen any sort of ghoul abilities come out from Scarecrow let alone we've hardly ever seen Scarecrow, just kind of small snippets of him. Uh, but Scarecrow played a very interesting uh, game in terms of how he worked from the ghoul side. And it seems like he might have even worked with uh, Eto and Aogiri Tree and other ghoul factions as well. Now, obviously, because we know nothing about Scarecrow and about Hide with what he's been doing, potentially, whether he's a ghoul or not is a very big mystery. But the one piece of evidence that I believe kind of fortifies this whole idea is when Scarecrow actually broke out Armon from Dr. Canal's laboratory, basically. Uh, so as you all know, Armon was captured by Dr. Canal and experimented on, and that's kind of how he became a ghoul. But luckily for Armon, a character known as Scarecrow uh, made his appearance out of nowhere, mind you, and actually managed to uh, break out Armon from that compound. Now the interesting thing, because we actually get to see that go down, uh, is the fact that Scarecrow used RC suppressant gas. Now what ghoul on this earth would ever use RC suppressant gas to take down other ghouls, or even human, in hindsight? So that always in itself really didn't sit well with me. I was like, kind of like, what the fuck? Like, why would he use RC suppressing gas as a weapon if he himself is a ghoul? Because he'd be heavily affected by it. So I made the two connections. I'm like, you know, if this is technically Hide, maybe he's just been having the persona of a ghoul this entire time. So he'd be more safe when he was making uh, connections with the ghoul side, when he's talking with other ghoul comrades and whatnot. So when he broke out Armon, instead of him, you know, using his ghoul abilities or anything, which would be the most convenient thing to use for a ghoul, even if you're not powerful, like, he even if he is a C-rated ghoul, like, if you get the jump on someone, that's it. Like, they'll probably die. Even if they're human, that's the thing as well. Like, a C-rated ghoul will be able to take on hardly armed humans that are completely off guard, but no, you use RC suppressing gas. As well as the fact that this supposed scarecrow had no motive to actually break out Armon. Like, why would a random ass ghoul break out Armon? Unless it was someone that was trying to benefit Carnegie. Because Armon couldn't go back to the CCG. Armon had nowhere to go other than the one person person that was building an organization that was full of ghouls that wanted to obtain peace between human and ghouls and that was Karniki. So I can almost guarantee that Hide had the mindset of releasing Armon who would be a very big asset to Karniki and that's most likely the reason he chose to do it. Now to this point we haven't seen Scarecrow, he's kind of been AFK but now he rocks up with a human faction, he rocks up with uh, Matsuri and Marude not really solidifies the point but backs it up really, it kind of backs up the fact that maybe Hide is going to be the character Character that bridges the human world with Carnegie's ghoul world because there needed to be that one character that would take the first step towards Carnegie, you know, from the human side. And, you know, Matsuri might have done it, uh, Akira might have done it, but obviously her situation changed and now she jumped over to Carnegie's group. So, like, everyone else, it was kind of like, uh, like, you know, who's going to outreach that hand? Who's going to try and work with Carnegie to make this world possible for girls and humans to coexist? Who better to do that now than Hide, who potentially still could be a human, which 
which would solidify his backing with trying to join the human world and the ghoul world together with Carnegie. Someone that's been around since the beginning, someone that knows Carnegie, someone that's been lurking behind Carnegie almost the entire time, someone that's witnessed the ghoul organization from inside and out. He's been working with different factions of ghouls, different factions of humans. He has so much knowledge. Then to help Carnegie reach his final goal and help take down one of the biggest opposing forces, the V organization, then Hide, who could potentially still be a human. I feel like it would sit better with the story as well if Hide was still a human. The fact that he hasn't changed, the fact that, you know, he hasn't been experimented on by Dr. Kanao or anything. Because the way I see it, if he did get experimented on, if he did turn into a ghoul, why can't he theoretically not talk? As you guys know, he uses these card signs to hold up, and that would be from, I guess, Carnegie ripping out his neck when he bit him or whatever. So if Hide cannot actually talk, I'd imagine that that would be completely fixed if he was transformed into a ghoul. Whether the RC cells would heal that, or Dr. Canal would just replace it completely and give him the opportunity to talk again, like, you know what I mean? I feel like there is a lot more options, a lot more variety, a lot more things pointing to the fact that Hide is well and truly a human, but he's hiding under the persona of a ghoul, which is actually rather smart, because he's also hiding his face, and he can't talk. And I'm guessing from the fact that Hide is still alive, he hasn't actually died from a, another ghoul or something like that, is he's very smart. He switched on a lot. He knows how to play the field. He knows how to be an investigator, uh, basically. So I guess Hide spearheading the CCG, whether he becomes the next chairman, whether he is potentially, quote unquote, a washu that could legitimately take the next chairman spot, or he just helps Matsuri and Maride run the CCG back to its glory days, basically, just being a human faction. And he can be the person to either convince Matsuri and Maride to help Kaneki by using the CCG's effort, or Hide himself will outstretch his hand to Kaneki and they'll help take down the massive Goliath, the secretive silent groups of all time, the V fucking organization. We've hardly seen them, and I'm hoping they've got some fucking powerful shit up their sleeve because they failed to kill Matsuri, all right? How the fuck are they going to take on Kaneki? How are they going to take on Takizawa or Armon? So we'll see. I'm very excited. My fingers are crossed for Hide still being human. I feel like it would just make more logical sense. Uh, but with that being said, let me know what you guys think because I'm sure you guys have some interesting ideas of your own. But with that being said, I'm actually going to end the video off here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys in the next video.